Hello everyone, it's PCL here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix server error for the game Call of Duty Cold War. So you might be getting error like lost connection to the host or like disconnected from the server. So just watch this video till the end and I'm pretty sure your problem will be fixed. But one thing here to note is that if Activision servers are down right now, in that case you cannot do anything except to wait for the servers to get up again. But if the servers are up and running, then in that case this video will surely help you. So just before starting, make sure to subscribe to my channel for regular gaming content. And now let's get started without any further ado. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you are still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step we will be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC so if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for cmd on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that, press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11 ms. Now what you have to do is, you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and press enter. And it will again calculate the average ping. So let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is. The average ping here is 17 ms. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this DNS server and this DNS server. 11 ms is way better than 17 ms. So what you have to do is, you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that DNS. And now go to your network connections. So search for view network connections. So just go to view network connections here as you can see. And here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties. In properties you have to select internet protocol version 4 and click on OK. Oh, click on properties, not click on OK, click on properties and in properties, by default it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to select use the following DNS server address and in preferred DNS server you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. So in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me. So I'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too, so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1. So that's it for this step but just in case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. Now this step is again a really important one. In this step we will be forwarding our ports. And first of all we have to know what ports are used in the game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So just google it, search for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War ports and go to this first website that is portforward.com and here scroll down to PC. So I am using my game on my PC right now so I will show you for PC only. So they are TCP and UDP ports. First of all, first of all copy TCP ports and once you have copied them, so if you don't want to visit this website, I will provide you these TCP and UDP ports in the description of this video and you can copy it from there. So first of all copy TCP ports and now search for firewall and go to windows Win Windows defender firewall with advanced security. As you can see windows defender firewall with advanced security. So just click on it and here you have to go to inbound rules. In inbound rules you have to create a new rule. In new rule you have to select port and as we have just copied the TCP port so just select TCP here and paste the TCP ports here. Once you have pasted it here just click on next and allow the connection 
click on next select domain private public again click on next and give it the name cod cold war and once you've done it click on finish and again we'll be making a new rule but first of all let's copy the udb ports copied from the description of this video once you have copied the udb ports then just again create a new rule again select port here and here this time select udb port and again paste the ports here that we just copied click on next allow the connection click on next domain private public click on next and give it the name cod cold war again and once you've done it click on finish and that's it for this step and this will surely help you but if it still doesn't work for you then proceed to the next step now this step is again a really important one and it is working for many users so all you have to do is you just have to open your blizzard.net and here you have to change your region so for example right now i am using europe region you just have to change it to your current region to anything else so use asia and then try running your game but if you're still facing this problem then all you have to do is just change the server and go to the third option so for me the third option will be america and most probably your problem will be fixed because this problem mostly occur because of heavy usage in a particular server so this might solve your problem but if it doesn't fix your problem then proceed to the next step in this step we'll be flushing our dns so this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users and to perform this step you just have to go to your cmd again that is command prompt and once you'll open it you just have to type ip config space then give a slash backslash and flush dns i'm just confused is, is it a backslash or forward slash i'm just confused so whichever it is ip config space slash and then flush dns and once you've typed it press enter and it will see you will see on your screen windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns resolver cache and that's it for this step it is that simple try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping then it will also help in that case and if you're facing any server error it might fix that problem too so that's it for this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful then please leave a like if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to pc helper for regular gaming content thank you and have a nice day